Welcome family. Now today we're going to make Mounds Bars. I love Mounds Bars. And I found a recipe online and we're going to try that. So come join me. Should we make Mounds Bars? I don't think you can have any, but you can watch. And I have to mention that my husband bought me the most wonderful gift. I have to show you this. You know how I'm always spilling on myself. So he bought me a bib, but this bib is special. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? bottom it has my that is actually the, the capital D is my Facebook but yes this is one of my biggest fans here my Texas Grand Sugar isn't she just gorgeous she watches my videos and her and her daddy every Monday they make one of my recipes and I am so proud of him he called me he um, texted me last night and he made my wild rice soup and he's a true cook he comes from his mama he changed the recipe that's so great he he um, said he took he took out two of the cups of chicken broth and replaced them with cream of mushroom and cream of bacon. Doesn't that sound wonderful? I'm so excited. And this picture my daughter-in-law took, she is like the best. She's such a good photographer. Look at that beautiful eyes on that child. As she, she uh, my daughter-in-law's got one more year of law school left. I'm so proud of her. She's, uh, this is, uh, this is my grand, one of my grandchildren in Texas. I have two sons in Texas. And my other Texas son, he makes my, he watches my videos and makes food too. He remembers, he, he loved my cinnamon rolls. So he's, um, he's making those now. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, I have... Um, about two and a half cups semi-sweet chocolate chips and you can use dark chocolate and then I put a tablespoon of shortening in it so we'll melt these later and then I mixed about four cups of coconut the recipe said three cups but it just didn't feel stiff enough to me so I had four cups of coconut and a can of sweetened condensed milk. So now, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna roll these a little bit here. I'm kind of flatten them down a little bit. I am going to cut these. You will get your hands messy. guys writing down on what your good thing that happened to you today? 
Uh, my good thing is I'm not going to spill on my clothes today with my new apron. It's kind of hard to roll, but well, I'm just going to have to pat it in there, form it. I'm going to want to cut them, and I'll probably do that after they're frozen. It's probably easier. Easier just to squish them down. I want to cut them into little bite-sized pieces. Now this is the first time I've made these, so we will see. But I really love Mounds bars, so I hope they I hope they're really yummy. Of course, you know I love I can eat coconut right out of the bag though, which I've already done. wear plastic gloves if you don't like getting your hands messy. And some people just don't. Kind of flatten them out as I go here to lengthen them out. out in a minute here. I've got almost a whole a whole bar right here on my fingers. I'm just using a, a cake spatula, a frosting spatula, just to shape them a little better. This is fun. No matter what you're cooking, it's always an art project. Definitely the three cups of coconut, or the four cups of coconut actually did better, I think. We'll see how it works. If I remember, I'll link the recipe from the website that I got it, and you can decide what you want to do.
I hope you can see that all right. Perfectionism. That's what it's called. It's all right. I've had many of I've had many doctors tell me differently, but you know what? My whole life I was diagnosed with all kinds of stuff. But I just I had to prove them wrong. I lived on disability for probably 10, 15 years of my life, not making hardly any money. And it's like, you know what? I don't have a disability. I have lots of abilities. And then I proved them all wrong in 2012. I went back to college in my 50s and I went to college for three years. It, I was slow at it. I didn't want to overwhelm myself and um, I didn't like being in crowds. I was still dealing with panic attacks. So I took three classes a semester and I made it. I did. I got really good grades. I was on the. I was a straight A student, and I graduated in 2015. And I got right away. I graduated in May. In August, I got hired. I got a really good job, and I've been working full time ever since. So, I proved the doctors wrong. They told me I would never work again. Like, you know what, you can do it. If you want if you really want to, you can do anything. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the freezer and we'll be back to coat them in the lovely chocolate, which I can have now. Yay! See you in a bit. Okay. I have the chocolate chips in the microwave 30 seconds at a time, and it was a total of about two minutes. And then, of course, the tablespoon of um, shortening in it. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to take... I had these in the freezer. I cut them up and put them back in the freezer. It was a couple hours I had them in the freezer. Now we're just going to dip them. And then we're just going to slide them onto there. Warm this up a little bit here. Okay. Made another batch, so. Flipping them. Can you see that? Oh, yes. 
I hope you guys are having a good day. I am. I'm going to warm this up a little bit. Okay, that's all I can put on there. Thanks for joining me today for homemade Mounds Bars. They're delicious, and next time I make them, I am definitely going to put them on parchment paper. A lot easier, um, less mess. So if you, um, if you um, haven't subscribed, go ahead and push the subscribe button. Come join the family. We're learning new things all the time. And, and to my subscribers, I just thank you so much. Thanks for being in my family. I like having a big family. Now remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.